Okay. This week what we are going to be building is a zing pong table. Now this is something that we did not invent. In fact, it's existed for a very long time, I don't know how many years. But unfortunately, I could not find anything on the internet about these tables. I knew I seen pictures of them, like, I don't know, maybe a decade ago, but I've scoured the depths of Google. And the only image I could find is this one here. You can kind of see the attachments that go onto the side of the ping pong table. So we are going to be trying to recreate that. And we are not going to be putting legs on our table, mainly because we're lazy, and also because we're going to be putting this table on top of another table or some horses. We don't really want it to be kind of bulky. Um, so it's going to be collapsible, it's going to be collapsible in the middle, and uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Now to be clear, we did not make this table up to regulation standards. Regulation tables are typically 9 by 5 Ours is only 8x4 due to the fact that it is really expensive and difficult to find a single piece of plywood that is a regulation standard. So an undersized UV treated board was what we had to go with. Our net, on the other hand, was made out of solid oak. And the tricky part about installing this part of the table was that we still needed it to fold in two. So to remedy this problem, we screwed the net to one side of the table and then attached hinges to the net so that the other end of the table could be attached to its counterpart. Nope. <laughs> oh, did we get that on film? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you up to? Because I don't understand the bracket okay. system you were talking Let's about. Let's pretend this is the top of the table, right? Okay. All right. And we want this to slide in here, right? Yeah. So um, this is going to slide in and, well, okay, so I might be able to You what? I don't know. <laughs> it sounded like he was going somewhere good. <laughs> In the original Zing Pong attachment kit, the walls were attached with specifically designed clamps. However, since we didn't have access to any clamps that would suit our needs, Dad came up with this nice joint system that allowed us to insert and remove the walls while still keeping the table collapsible. As you can see here, the small slots that we're making attach to the underside of the table, and then with a jigsaw, we cut out some inserts on our walls so that the planks can sit flushly with the net. So, so this is the one here, and we just find the center here, and Oh, yeah. And then, and then, and then. Nice job. <laughs> so <laughs> the only problem we ran into with this solution was that while the walls remained upright, they were still somewhat wobbly up top. So to keep the walls in one fixed position, we added some neodymium rare earth magnets to the net and walls so that they would always stay next to the net, even when hit with the ping pong ball. Yeah, yeah. 
it's a miniature pad of time. 